Christmas, my cue. We're just all out of sorts because we're on the wrong side of the bar today. All right, it's the Richmond Gooners podcast, match day 16 at Gus's Bar and Grill, as always, just slightly displaced. Uh, I am Ryan here with Tom. Shit, no one's mic's on. All right, try that again. Here's Tom. Hello, hello. And Will. We all over the place right now. And Joey. You drink my Mountain Dew? Yeah, no, I mean, Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath. This thing is normally over there. Like, everything is just off. We Ryan's not drinking Mountain Dew. He's drinking yeah. something. No, I'm, drinking, I'm drinking Pacifico, but yeah, West Virginia moonshine. We're just off because we were displaced by the the Michigan toy table. Anyway, so fuck those guys. By the way, suck yeah. blue, suck blue, suck blue. Fuck them. Fuck them till they're dead. Okay, so fuck your life. Bing bong. That's true. I can what push my taste is safe. I'll room. fuck you till you love me. <laughs> I wish I wish you had children so oh I could push them in the testicles so you can see, know how I feel. See, there is a key word that you didn't. Put. I did. There's yeah, a key I word. Selected, but but well, we, we appreciate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But sometimes for those discretion that don't is know, the better part of it. I'll fuck you till you love me, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the word either. <laughs> but oh man, that video is uh, hilarious. Yeah. I want I want to eat his children. Yeah, yeah. put them in a straight jacket. Put your mom in a straight jacket. Have you ever seen Jamie Foxx's fucking joke about Mike Mike Tyson like ordering at KFC? Punk-ass white boy. He's like, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, it's Mike Tyson. Yeah. I, to, yeah. I need eight piece chicken with, with slaw. Lots of slaw. Lots of slaw. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of slaw. Yeah. Lots of slaw. Yeah, Michigan man. Michigan yeah. man. Michigan Jamie, man. Fo- Jamie Foxx is so talented. Jamie Foxx is the He's goat. so <laughs> fucking talented. So, this is not the 90s Boxing Jokes podcast. <laughs> this is actually the Richmond Gooners podcast. So, yeah. Um, started the day in first again, and even further in first than we expected to be, thanks to City dropping points Ooh, earlier. And go Newcastle. On Frank, and Newcastle. Go on Frank in Everton. Go on Eddie Howe in Newcastle. Doing the Lord's work, those two. No, no. Well, Marsh. Eddie, Howe, Eddie Howe by losing the game. No, yeah. Marsh, Marsh, yeah. the, the, Jesse yeah. Marsh by yeah. Leeds yeah. drawing. That's, yeah. that's a big. That's a big point for Leeds. That'll, that'll do a lot. It's for a big their point confidence. for Everton too. Yeah, yeah. Same. But it's also yeah. a big. It's a big. It's a big. Not two points for us. Yes. So Correct. you know that's. So we're, what are we? Seven ahead right now. Seven, seven ahead right seven now. Seven and yeah. nine. So we're. So I just want to hear from all those people. All those people that were talking about how Man City were going to walk the league. That they were going to be clear by Christmas. And we're all these where are you now? Where are you now? Well, and this before, is before and, the year when everyone's like, Holland's going to... And, and Holland is, to be fair. Holland has, running Holland, roughshod. Holland has scored 21 league goals, and it is not the new calendar year. He yet. scored more goals can we, than can Chelsea. We, can we... Can we just take a second to realize how fucking mad that is? Holland has scored more than like five of the Premier League clubs as a whole. Yeah, but like one of those being Chelsea Chelsea. is a major Premier League club. I'm not even thinking about it. They're trash. (laughs) I'm looking forward to playing them again. They garbage. But G A R B I T C H garbage. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, you know, we had a strong game coming out of the break uh, on Boxing Day, looking to build on that. And you know, I had seen a stat. I think it was Orbino had it that that <coughs> Brighton had scored in the first ten minutes in their last X games, yeah, whatever it was, five some odd games, yeah. And instead, we came out and scored in what the second minute? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was barely over a minute, minute and minute. ten seconds. Yeah, barely yeah. over a minute. Yeah, and we needed it, and we needed it because. As well, we see that it, towards the end, man, we, we we were down to like thirty two percent possession versus theirs. Yeah. yeah, and even though we brought in a holding, they still were looking dominant. Well, and you and Dave called it is that you know maybe I think Dave was the one who pointed out it's just like you know when when we get out to Leeds early, we tend to not keep them. we cruise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the things from last year is we we come out we bloody the guy in the first and then kind of think oh we can cruise and we score that goal minute eighteen in and well, then another I can't remember when the second goal came. it was not till right before halftime thirty nine but was it was it Brighton third. who did we beat five nil early in the season was that Brighton no it was um, no. it was at home. Let's see. Would that have been a uh, that, forest? That's what was we that forced? I think it was forest. Let me see. This is called vamping as we very yeah. slowly look vamp, up. Vamp, vamp. <laughs> Play me out. Do, 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 vamp, do, do. vamp, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, my point being that traditionally when we score early, we start to cruise and allow right. them to come back it in. It was forest. It was forest on my birthday. For, yeah, forest five. Now. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? My memory's still good. Vamp. Solid. But that that's kind of what what we need to do more is we need to... Put teams to the fucking sword, right. and, and and be absolutely ruthless, and yeah. not not sit back when we when we because it's clear that we have the talent, oh, our both defensively yeah. and, and in the attack. Our to, attack to, was lethal today. Yeah, well, absolutely. Oh. Second game in a row that our entire front three has scored. Our entire front three plus our cam mm. Odegaard scored today. It's the second game in a row that our entire front three scor- scored, and our number ten had at least one assist. Uh, yep. By by the way, Odegaard's. Assist to Martinelli. Oh, to Martinelli. oh my Yeah, that my little God. like ball stop with his toe and then I, like, wow. I almost came in my fucking pants. What a fucking ball that was. Yeah, uh, he's the best dribbler I've seen in years. And look, here's the other thing too: is holy like, shit. 
I, when they showed the replay, I don't even remember him looking to yeah, Martinelli. I, I, I think he just was watching just the ball come over. Yeah, yeah, and he just sent it. Thank God that that's, Madrid that's wins coaching. titles. That that's Madrid, coaching. Madrid yeah. wins the Champions League. They win the league. They, they don't see him need as extra. him. Look, yeah. Madrid, they don't need him. That's Madrid. how good they are. They don't need Martin. Martin Odegaard is uh, just surplus they, to requirements. Yeah. 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 They they chose, part of that is because Madrid's the, been hoarding midfielders since like 2004. True. But yeah. they don't need the best number 10, the current best number 10 in the Premier League. They yeah. chose yeah. to keep Ceballos. The Before you say it, Kevin De Bruyne is a number 8, by the way, before before. Anybody says that shit. They chose to keep Ceballos yeah. over Odegaard. Oh, boy. <laughs> you chose poorly. poorly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and like, I saw some, some tweet recently. They're like looking to re sign Ceballos. Like, that's a priority. It's like, okay, I mean, that's fine. However, you could have had Odegaard. But, well, what but does Ceballos Modric- have on you? He's got like a hard drive. He's got a dossier yeah. somewhere. He doesn't even like start some, for yeah. them. Yeah. He doesn't even start. Yeah. And, and I mean, he will, is, though, because Modric is like 39. Modric is, is 47 years old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the man was 187 years old when yeah. they fought. <laughs> Tony, Tony Crows is fucking 49 years old. Who just yeah. announced his Actually, retirement. Actually, he's younger. Yeah, he just announced his uh, international retirement, right? I thought it was retirement. Retirement. Oh, oh, no. I, could, I could be wrong. I think, inter- I think, I think it's, it's just international. international yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's fine. But he might still retire at the end of the year. I mean, you never know about that. Oh, no. He's only uh, 32. Oh, okay. Really? He'll be 33 on the 4th. He's 32 until, until he's, he's 33. 33. That's how it works. <laughs> that's how it works. That is how it works. <laughs> uh, he's 32 and 360 days old yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, whenever we, who were we talking about who his birthday was the next day? And the I next almost day, did it. Yeah. And I was like, no, don't say it. Yeah. We're not doing oh, that. Oh, it was um, uh, Lori's. Yeah, yeah, it was Lori's. Yeah. That's not yeah. how this works. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, well, do we, do we want to get into the Saliba? Because I was like, well, let's, let's, yeah. let's start at the top. The lineup change, man. It's the same kind of thing. Like, does does Zinchenko have a dossier on no. Arteta? No, so well, Arteta point, just loves him. Wait, well, what? What? No, what? Listen, Are listen, we saying that he listen. was bad? I'm not, no, I'm not saying no, no, he's no. bad. But Tierney was very strong right, last right. week, and as soon okay. as Zinchenko's ready, he comes right back. Right, in the because start. Zinchenko is our number one left back. Yes. And and the point that I made to Joey during the game today. I started to yell at Tom today because he was excellent. Yeah, was like don't get me wrong. He was and, great. And I 20, at the look. twenty-four minute mark, he almost gave away two goals inside of thirty seconds. But but here's the thing: he also almost scored a brilliant goal with his brilliant turn at, outside the six-yard box, and it just barely got away from him. I have never once seen KT go that far into the box when we're on an offensive. Well, no, because he's he's a guy that runs it up the side yeah. and sends it in, but. It's just it's. I don't. Know, I certainly am not saying that 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 Zinchenko is bad or was bad. Right. It was just surprising that like immediately as soon as he's fit. All right, KT, get your ass back on the bench. Right. Bit. Like you. Like normally, like the way that we've seen game, like the, the selection go this year is when you play well, you continue to play. Right. You're gonna put Tommy Asu in for Ben White. But when, been so excellent. so yeah. I agree but, with but you. He, but he's been, when is when, when is Zinchenko play played bad? Well. Yeah. yeah. When it, when did Zinchenko play bad? Twenty four minute mark, man. <laughs> But I just mean like so he's he not queue up he's, all the mistakes of Kante. He's yeah. not. He's not, mean, such, he's I mean, not that good a defender. I mean, KT made a couple mistakes today too. Even and KT played great when he came in, but he yeah. still also made I a couple agree. mistakes. It's just if it's a cup the final, I'm going KT all day. It depends on the offense that we're facing. Yeah, I think the manager would disagree with you. But I'm not saying this if, is what you should know better. If we're if we're facing if we're facing a more prominent offense. Then yes, I'm. Then I want KT as my left or, back, or or like a like a Dama Traore, a yeah. really dangerous pacey right, right. winger. Yeah. I want Tierney to start. It's yep. just surprising that a guy who is fine, you know, like normally when dudes f- become match against fucking Solly March, who the fuck yeah. was on that but side, like, you would no think they would hold you. him out. They yeah. would give him a couple more games, especially considering Zinchenko was just ready to come back. Like I'm surprised they just immediately started him and said, "All right, here we go." I mean, like, yeah. uh, you know, and Tierney got like I, I'm not sitting here like standing for Tierney. Yeah. It's just a weird thing yeah. to like, oh, you're healthy, fine, fuck this. Also, also by far our worst defender today was Saliba. Saliba. Was Saliba. It was Saliba. By well, and, and we've talked about this a couple times, like, you know, when Saliba is 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 chasing back towards our goal. Yep. is what Joey says all the time. You know, yeah. yeah. I, if I've said it once, I've said yeah. it a thousand times. It's the weakest part of his game. Like, like when he has every he's other perfect. part of his game is so fucking yeah. good. But he played Tim that you all day today. Almost allow him to do that. Yeah. I think. I think after after he made like one or two mistakes, the first mistake, his, his whole yeah. his whole demeanor like changed. Yeah. He wasn't he wasn't trying to win 50-50s anymore. Like he just he just and that's one of his strongest. Yeah. You know, it, things it, that he can it, do. it literally just looked like he was coasting. I mean, there was numerous times where a cross would come in and he could have easily gotten something on the ball, whether it's a head, whether it's a chest, yeah. whether it's a leg doesn't matter could have gotten something on it and he just let it go right by yeah. him and and usually the thing is he he does usually he does everything at a nine out of ten yeah except for like going running towards his yeah. own goal and when he's facing his own goal that's like he gets nervous or yeah. if, if everything stays in front of him my god he yeah. is a fucking I mean, that, voice of a player that, that second goal like 
dude, just play the ball back to Ramsdale. Yeah. Like, yeah. What, are, what are you doing? He was waiting. Like, like, he's literally sitting there. Like, he got bodied a little too easily by yeah. a smaller yeah. a smaller attacker. And, uh, but Kaiosaka wasn't really helping him out either. Well, but Kaiosaka, I don't know when it was. It was, I want to say, like the 20 something. Well, he got, that, minute. he got that bullshit yellow card. And then but, uh, he but before it. that, oh. he, he, he came up gimpy. And he just didn't quite look the same the rest of the game. Yeah. Like he, he 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 started moving better after about ten more minutes. But I I feel like he just did not have that get back speed after whatever happened. Ben White locked down whoever he had. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But Saliba was probably after the game going. You got to help me out because the guy that scored the goals or I, he had one disallowed. Yeah, yeah. The um, Put, the uh, M- Mitomo. Yeah. Uh, the the Asian kid. Yeah. He he. And the thing is when. It was after Ben White went out, wasn't it? It was it was when Tommy was in when the he last scored one, that goal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when he scored that goal, because he he was really, 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 really good. I would say like their best player, probably by oh, a yeah. margin, yeah. Uh, on the day. Um, one thing I noticed too, you know, because I, I don't want to just you know say Saka maybe not coming back as best as he used to is part of that reason Saliba struggled. I would also say that now in the first half. This player, Thomas Partey, had a phenomenal first half. I mean, his challenges mm-hmm. were great. Mm-hmm. Second half, it looked like he wasn't really that present. Mm. Was that like, when did he get his card? Uh, I think late first half or early yeah, second half. Yeah. I think that's what I think that's probably what it was. Yeah, because I didn't want to get you know because I started noticing point. Saliba and Gabriel both, depending on what side of the field the ball was on, um, they were stepping up a little bit more to help out behind Partey. And in the first half, we didn't necessarily see that. And so I think part of it is, you know, again, Partey had a phenomenal first half. I mean, he's a huge reason why we scored our first goal. Yeah. Um, Because they were about to go on a breakaway, and he just shut it down. And then, you know, bing bong, we score a goal. Yeah. First minute. And (laughs) and, But that second half, I I just – I don't remember seeing him on the pitch until he came off of it. So – Martinelli's goal might be my goal of the year so far. It's pretty nice. <laughs> that ball from Odegaard, yeah, I know. my God. I know. I can't, and to be Tariq Lamptey, because Tariq Lamptey was on him. He's yeah. quick. Oh, and he's he just kept trying away. that move where and he's he going to just go right footed curler after three he, and four. Yeah. That's the, he that, blocked a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the thing. That's the best performance I, I've I needed. Will and I both needed uh, a Martinelli shot on target to hit our six leg parlay, <laughs> which we hit, by the way. On uh, Kai Osaka shot on target. Eddie and Kenny a shot on target. Gabriel Martinelli shot on target. So I'm Arsenal paying for my beers line. today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal money line uh, over seven and a half corners, over one point five goals. Yeah. That we we hit it. Fanduel, run me my fucking money, <laughs> bitches. Um, so that was the best right back performance I've seen against Gabriel Martinelli all season. I agree, and I and thought Martinelli he was going to have an easier time. And Martinelli still played very well. It's good, right. but but that was by far. I mean, he. I, what's his name? I, I was Tariq Lamptey. Tariq Lamptey. Lamptey. Thank you. Yeah. He was phenomenal. He's five foot yeah. three. I, and him standing next to Saliba yeah. was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, gosh. Yeah. He was or, like, "Hey, how's it going?" Or yeah. they were asking him yeah. to mark Thomas Partey. It reminded me. Of, it, yeah. it reminded me of the photo of uh, Aaron Judge and Jose Altuve yeah, standing yeah, exactly. next to each other. <laughs> or Nate Freeman, same yeah. thing. Yeah. And yeah, just 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 to swing back around, Partey got his in stoppage time in the first half, his yellow card. Yeah. So I think yeah. that was a lot of the reason why he was hesitant in the second half. That's fair. That's a good point. He can't be getting sent off. Yeah. Also, I'm I'm doing some research here. Brighton this year has beaten Man United, who beat us. Um, they also beat the uh, Leicester City, who we beat four two as well. They beat Leicester five uh, two at the Amex. I mean, um, Brighton is an up and down team. Bright- seven, Brighton drew you know. Liverpool three three in October. Going into this game, Brighton was sixth, seventh, seventh. seventh okay. Yeah, and Brighton, was Brighton, Brighton are a really good day. team actually. They're a really good team. They are yeah, a really they, good now team. Now they're eighth after after the yeah after the day. Jumped him. Lesser without Madison is just garbage. Yeah. You need to get used to that shit because he's fucking going to Newcastle. I bet yeah. you. And imagine how bad they're going to be once uh, Tielemans is gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Coming to us on a free. Yeah, there is so Tielemans was like one of the few bright system. spots. Yep. Yeah. Most recent game. They're so renowned for their scouting system, and now I'm just kind of like, all right, who's your up and coming dudes? Yeah, it's like, where are you going from here? Like, they. They, they just they really never like and yet Brendan Rodgers still has a fucking job yeah, that's that, crazy. that is kind of bizarre <coughs> how bizarre how bizarre but I mean like, you bizarre. know like they, they win the do league do that do year do and then do just do kind of coast for the next what four yeah and they kind of just float up I mean, and down they, the table they, they stay in they stay in the Premier League yeah yep. because well, before, they made, before and they made they were well, they, and they made they made Champions before League one more time after they after they won whatever happened to Danny Simpson that played right back for that champion side that they had see because all the other guys, you can kind of track them. Like Chilwell's fucking Chelsea. Sit, yeah, sitting on the bench. Uh, Danny uh, Simpson is no longer in the league, from what I can tell. Played last uh, with Bristol City. 
Oh, that's uh, so a shame. I think they're. I'm trying to go through their Jason? starting lineup. Jason, Danny Simpson? Casper Schmeichel. Yeah, he's moved on. Oh, okay. Yep. Casper Schmeichel has moved on. Wow, and what a guy that's really, really fallen. Um, because I was just reading 442 yesterday, an article about Lester, and they asked Claudio Ranieri because Schmeichel made this comment about Ranieri saying that he was giving so much, so much credit goes to him for us winning the league that year but he has to remember it was the players it was the players that did it and then the 442 interviewer says well what do you think about that and all he has to say is well the personality of the character that said exactly what you just quoted says everything that I would never he's basically saying he's a prick Who's yeah. right? who, who said, uh, the, who said uh, the quote Claudio Ranieri who said the quote uh, uh, Schmeichel. Schmeichel. Schmeichel, okay. Who is, as a, he's at Nice now. He's yeah. at Nice And he's now. also at burning nice. his bridge there. Yeah. Yeah. He already shows has. up later for training. Who, who else is at Nice, guys? I believe it's uh, <laughs> Pepe. 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 Two yeah. Nice on the In case you missed it, Pepe has joined Nice on the Pepe has joined Nice on the um, But yeah, Schmeichel so, was saying something like, Rainieri held us back, X, Y, Z. Yeah. Held us, held you back? You won the fucking league. What more do you want? Yeah. What more do you want? Well, that's the thing. At 5,000 to one. So, so. I wish I was that one guy This got reported probably a few weeks right before the uh, World Cup break and about Schmeichel and how he, like Tom was just saying, he has burned. He has already burned the bridge. Because he he doesn't watch any film. He doesn't doesn't go to any practices except the mandatory ones. My dad was famous. And, And so, and that's apparently how at Leicester, that was perfectly fine. Leicester let him do that. Mm. And Nice was basically like, no, no, no. Like, even though we say it's not mandatory, it is. It's fucking mandatory. Yeah, it like, He's burning bridges like white dudes burn crosses in yards back in the <laughs> oh 50s and 60s. God. Well, spe- if we're going to talk about burning bridges, that seems a good time to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Two, the, the pride, the pride milli, of Al Nasser. 200 milli a year in salary and endorsements to play in Saudi Arabia. It's, it's, it's Al Nasser. Is it Al yeah, Nasser? Yeah, yeah, I can't Al-Nasser. remember. Because somebody yeah. remind me, why is he not allowed to play? Why wouldn't he come to the MLS? I forget. I think he would. I just You can't get that much money. Yeah. I know. I think he's got why? an open fucking rape case here, yeah. and he can't come to the country. Well, like, if he lands, what the fuck I Because I, I don't really track him, but like I look at his Instagram, and I'm like, I mean, would he it doesn't be really a, come to the U.S. on site situation? I am pretty sure. I was because everybody, every like person with money comes to Miami, Los Angeles, New York, and Las Vegas. That's it. Yeah. Those so, are the, that's yeah. the four that yeah. they, anybody will come. Unless you're Wayne Rooney, who for some reason. Oh, oh, DC. he came to Las Vegas. He just never came back. <laughs> that's where the open case is. Yeah. Last I checked, I think but, that's where the open but, case. But I mean, you're, uh, not, getting, you're yeah, not getting 200 million a year to play yeah. for an MLS team. You're just not. You're not gonna get what? You're not getting 200 mil a year to play for the. No, 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 no. But you, you get more exposure than Al Nasser. But he doesn't give a fuck about exposure at this point. He's it, fucking Christian he's Ronaldo. A global, he's a global. No, I think he's an Asian look. I like think he does give a fuck about exposure. Probability of being prosecuted for a rape case in Saudi Arabia. All, all he cares well, about. Uh, yeah, all he well, cares about is his exposure. I think that's all he cares about. I think he doesn't give a shit about the money. He's got more money than he can. He knows what the. Right. Do he, right. he makes he makes like a hundred million off every Instagram post he makes. So like, well, I think that was part of the contract. Well, then go back to Portugal. He was he was going to post some shit about Saudi Arabia. For his social media, that was part of the deal. Is that he's going to get on there like, hey, come yeah. to Saudi Arabia, yeah, where there's Saudi indoor skiing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you like to wow. have women against their will, this is yeah. your spot. Yeah. But if you believe in Dude. open, open, <laughs> if you're going to stay forced to marry you, he's a fucking yeah. sellout. That's all it is. He's so a I, guess, I guess that's the place for him, right? No, but that's no, the thing. It's just weird. Like if he cared about his legacy and his exposure, he would have gone back to Portugal or something. But like, he, I mean, the, going he, to Sporting Lisbon. I thought I was right. sure. If you go to it doesn't matter. He doesn't give a shit about money. He doesn't. Yeah, whatever they pay him, he can go back home and finish. That's like a noble way to end your career. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, and like that that's the thing. It's just like I mean, when they reported during the World Cup, it's like, oh, that's not happening. Yes, it fucking is. Yeah, it is. Where else are you gonna go? Who's yeah. gonna take you at this point? And maybe that's what it came down to. Maybe all the teams in Portugal were like, bro. Well, we You're definitely know the teams yeah. in the top five leagues didn't want to touch them with oh, a no, fucking no, 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 thirty seven and a half foot pole. No, I mean that was that was, that was just no no it was a non starter. Like you do that to a team like United, I mean, you know, LOL United, but also, like, you can't do that shit. Yeah. And yeah. then decide you want to play for a top, you know, a top five team in a top five He's quite league. possibly the most toxic personality in oh, yeah. sports ever. I mean, the most Ryan what? Leaf might toxic? be up there. Oh, toxic. Like, yeah. if we say Barry Bonds. I don't know. Well, and, and again, he's not. He's, Barry Bonds wasn't he toxic does do when he was some a good player. Things. Yes, he was. He's an, he's an incredible. He traveled, yeah, he traveled separately. Barry Bonds had his own yeah. fucking, like, section of the locker room that no one else yeah. was allowed oh, to come in. Oh, did he? He really? had, like, five oh, yeah. lockers. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, okay, so here's oh, the I didn't shit. know that. Oh, yeah. Yes, he had a big Google ass. Google a picture of Barry yeah, Bonds' locker. He had a big fucking recliner. It was, like, four lockers, and you couldn't, like, come into his space unless you were invited. He didn't travel He didn't travel with the team. He had his own place. Dickhead. Yeah, he was a fucking dickhead. The thing, so here's extreme aside, Barry Bonds is a product of when his dad played baseball. Mm -hmm. Like, his dad was subject to a lot of racist bullshit playing in the 60s and 70s. 
and you know, or maybe it was 50s. I don't know. Whenever, whenever Bobby played, I think and it was, then Barry I think Bonds it was said this. Joey, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. But, he mean, was like, he, if I have a chance to own you motherfuckers, I'm going to do it. Right, but I'm going to do all the shit my way. I mean, that, yes, but his attitude and the way he viewed the press especially yeah. was all influenced by how his dad was mistreated yeah. by them. And, like, that, you can, I can respect that to a certain level. Well, that's but why also, Ken Griffey like, Jr. said he'll never play for the Yankees. Yeah. Because mm. the New York press? Uh, yeah, because the way they treated his dad. Oh, that, yeah. Mm, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like, the, I, the I respect The sweetest fucking it. swing that has yeah. ever been swung. Yeah. No, I respect, like, having that, that, that having your dad's back, but also, like, realize times have changed and maybe don't just be a cunt in the locker room. Yeah. That would be cool. Like, him and Jeff Kent, it's a miracle they didn't murder each other. Oh, God. Because Jeff Kent, so about like, two, two extreme, like, yeah. Two, yeah. two alpha males. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And prem de both prem. of with, with somewhat abhorrent views. It just, yeah, I, I, it's a miracle that, that that they even got close to winning anything. And you I, know, I think Barry in Barry coaching for like the Marlins or something right now. Or? He's he's bounced he, around as a hitting coach yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I think he, he might yeah. not be working right now. Uh, yeah, but him and McGuire both have been like hitting coaches here and there, and it never really lasts because mm, yeah. a steroid coach. No, there's that. <laughs> well, you know, and that's the thing. Like why Michael Jordan was never a good, you know, like Jordan and Bird as like coaches and executives, like guys who were like elite top three ever. Bird, players. Bird was a decent exec- executive. He was all right. But like he was as, more than all right. Yeah, he was more. He took right. those Pacers teams. That's he true. built those Pacers teams. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan got, on the other hand, okay, Jordan on the yeah. other hand. But when he was but, a coach, but, though. but Jordan is yeah, fair enough. But Jordan is the Michael Jordan of bad owners. Well, <laughs> my point, like my, the point I'm trying to make is like guys. How does his like, race car team do? I have no idea. I don't, he's, he's got like a dude, right? He's got, he's got a yeah. motorcycle racing team too, I think. I but no anyway, idea. the point is like yeah, as coaches, they're bad. Guys like that tend to be not great coaches because they just can't comprehend. Why you aren't as good as they were? Right. It's like so, what, this so is difficult for you. What the fuck? In, it's like well, yeah, because they're not you. In all of sports, I can think of one exception to that example. It's Who? in soccer. Zinedine Zidane. Zidane. Yeah. Oh. I think I think by all accounts, a top probably a top like five player of all time. Hmm. Um, and, and definitely, definitely top ten. And, and yeah, definitely top ten. I mean, he's I top five if he doesn't skewer their fucking World Cup <laughs> chances by headbutting a dude. My yeah. top five is Dylan, 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 Dylan. Because I spit hot I fire. I spit hot fire. <laughs> five greatest rappers in the world. Yes. Um, and yeah, I think Zidane, Zidane's won what four Champions Leagues as a coach. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think tradi- I mean, traditionally, Madrid, it's not that traditionally, hard, I want to say the best managers tend to be former center backs and defensive midfielders. Right. Correct. Because I remember when Thierry Henry became the Monaco manager. I forgot who leaked this to the press, but they said, c- to your point, it was it was kind of just he shows people how how he, he would he does, do it. Yes, like. And then and they're like, God, I'm not you. Yeah, I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have the same skill set. I'm yeah. not a king. Yeah, he's I'm just not a king. Do this. And he's like, Yeah, that's that's for you, bro. Like, I can't I don't, do that. I'm not that. even a prince. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait till and Arteta towards the end of his career. He started his career as number ten, but towards the end of his career with us, he had he had gone farther back yeah. into the midfield yeah. as more like an eight, eight. Yeah. as like a deep line yeah. playmaker. And like Tom said, those are the players that make. I cannot wait. Until Shabby Alonso gets hold of the big team, Ooh, yeah, because he's he a, was he, one of my favorite players ever to watch play. He's at Bayer Leverkusen right now. He's at Lever- <laughs> yeah, I, I I I've modeled like when I go on the pitch and play, I model a lot of my game, a lot of my especially like my passing game after Shabby Alonso. Yeah, I, I can't mean, I can't do it, but I I try to <laughs> I do this. Just, I'm he's curious. Like, good, good, like, like let's side by side some footage and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. so I'm modeling curious. your game. Let me t- <laughs> teach you what modeling. Yeah, I know, means. I know. Okay, I'm okay. giving you shit. So I'm curious too. You know, now so now even I'm giving you. Shit. Hey, once their careers are over, years from now, you know, El Nini and Jaka, see how they're, yeah. you know. Oh, I think I think El Nini would be a fantastic coach. I think Jaka yeah. would be too, because he's already yeah. doing his badges. El yeah. Nini is. So is Jaka. So is Jaka. Yeah. They've been doing really? together. Yeah, they yeah. both. They both. Been doing yeah, they've yeah. Been, it's been in like the news. And stuff. I think I think El Nini's uh, progressed further because El Nini's been doing it longer, like yeah. been working towards it longer. But I know Jaka has that interest in doing it too. Yeah. I can see. I think Tierney will go far in the Celtic Academy. Sure, he'll have to. He'll oh, have to stay in Scotland because yeah. that's the only place they can understand him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, his accent is thick. That's true. Jesus, there's that thick. one. That it's interview a, with his that, accent yeah. is yeah, thicker than like a, Mikel it's Arteta. Like a sports store. Yeah. We've got super thick Arteta. Okay, is, okay, is he getting thick or is this just like a thing that you guys made nah, up? No, he's, he's made up. He, no, he's always he's a, always had it. He's, he's always, always had the cakes. He's man. always got the horse legs. Well, he, my, he, my, my wife is, is right here agreeing with us. Right he, now. he wears super tight pants, so yeah. it's a little bit. So he's always had the cakes. So you wear super tight pants with no cakes. It's just a fucking lower back. It's just a pant. Yeah, it's just pants. If without cakes, it's just pants. Yes. I feel, he, like that, I feel like that could be a poll at, at a certain point. Like, whatever, how, it's another ass-related poll that doesn't involve your mouth. How about Eddie and Ketty as goal today? They all involve your mouth. Yeah. Was 
Because I think typically a striker will try to be on the back post, and he knew to not be there. Yeah. And caught that rebound so sweetly and perfectly. And, and he, he knows what the fuck he's doing in the box. One touch. And, and everybody, one touch. everybody that was bitching and saying, oh, 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 no, we're, our season's over because Eddie and Ketia, two goals, two games. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand fucking times. When he gets the time and he gets starts and he gets playing time, he will produce. You might get to the play where I think he scored 11 in, in his last 11 home games. Yeah, and I've, 11, said, 11. Yeah. And I've said this a thousand times. So shut the fuck up. Two or less about touches, Eddie. and he's going to yeah, produce something. This is true. Well, and here, here, here's my take on Eddie is like the Eddie versus Jesus thing is it's more that with the last time we saw Eddie, last year and the year before, like Eddie was not getting a lot of playing time, and he really didn't do much but then hang, but hang around in the box and wait to post stuff. Yeah. Whereas Jesus comes in, and he's all over the place. And you yeah. go, oh, that's going to be hard to, re- to replace. But Eddie has come in, and he Eddie was doing that. that today. Yeah. Did like, you see I how think, many times he was in our right. own area yeah. Oh, yeah. defending? Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I think like playing like, like either in training with Jesus or just watching him play that way or how, whatever the reason, I think he started to like embody more of that, yeah. which has made him a more fit replacement. Well, also, yeah, I, I will... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The other thing is that like he's... Talk about like, you know, knowing where to be, Tom, like that's always been his game. Like, yeah. He's always been a cleanup guy, yeah. just know where the ball's going to be off a rebound kind of thing. And like, that goal was crucial because yeah. they could have allowed that other goal that was this loud. Yep. yep. And 4 3, or it could have been, yeah, shit, yeah. I was worried. Like, we might we might be 4 4. Yeah. So what I was going to say was this is I actually wasn't impressed with Eddie in the first half. Um, I thought he wasn't moving that great. Um, now, come second half, I think I think Arteta or one of the assistants spoke to him and you know kind of talked to him about where to be, that kind of stuff. And we immediately saw that with his goal, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And that second half, he did look much better, closer to what he was on Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that first half, it it did it, it looked like Europa League in the group stage games, yeah. Eddie and Kedia, rather than what we saw on Monday. He scored. I think he scored three and six. In the Europa League this year? Yeah, yeah. and the, so, But, like, two of those were in the first game. Yeah. So I, I think he, he is the type of player that typically needs, he needs a, a, little, a little bit more yeah. of the game. Yeah. It, inside of one game, he needs a little bit more of the game yeah. to get into the game. But once he's into it, and you can tell when he's starting to feel it, when he's got the rhythm, and you can tell. You think you're the only one not happens. playing, fam? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're the only one not fucking playing, fam? Wake the fuck up. This is Arsenal. That's when I knew. I was. I texted Will this the other day. Yeah. I texted him that clip, and I said, this is when I knew that I loved it, and I would fucking back this guy. Yeah. Because this is the right attitude. Yeah, because he understands. You think you're the only one fucking playing? Have that hunger. Have enough hunger to when you get your shot, work hard, earn your shot. When you get it, fucking take that shit. And guess what? He never got that hunger, and that's why he's on loan. He never got that hunger. And that's um, why that player's on loan. Where'd he go? Sammy's on loan? What? Sammy Lacongo? Yeah. yeah, no. Is he on loan? No. No, no, no. no. He, 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 he didn't say it to uh, it was Sammy. Sammy. He, he said, said it. No, he was oh, I thought he said it to Nuno. No, no, it was no. Sammy. It was Sammy. Uh, it was Sammy. Uh, okay. Nuno, Nuno came to the table and asked Sammy, how are you? And Sammy was like all sad. That's right. Because yeah. oh, he's right, like, oh, yeah. I'm not okay. playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's what Eddie basically said. Hey, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 so it it showed me, that scene showed me two things. Eddie, that I would always back him, and I'm glad we signed him and gave him the contract and gave him the iconic shirt number for our club because that attitude is what this new arsenal is all about hey so far number two what it taught me is that as much as i like sammy as much potential as i think he has i don't think he's gonna make it and he's not cut out i don't think he's cut out that's why it makes me sad to say that because i like him and i like his potential and he seems like a good lad and vincent company who i have massive respect for said he's um, the man said it said this guy will come good but if he doesn't have that attitude you know, he's well, got to have that, like the hunger. Like and it's also has. it's also tough right now because today's point, he was Our midfield's so good. Yeah, like who who you are really looking at somebody from like Man City or Liverpool that gets into our starting eleven right now. So Samuel Lukonga, all apologies, but you're not good enough. No, I mean like yeah. it's always the part you're not good enough, fam. You're not yeah. You're dickhead. Yeah, so he's, he's not good enough, Robbie. Because I, what is he like? Third choice defensive midfielder. Yeah, and if El Nene yeah. gets El Nene is always when he gets brought on. El Nene is yeah. always the yeah. choice behind. And, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm happy when he comes on because he defends well and he has a long distance shot. With Samuel Lekonga, I go. You bring. Well, I was like this morning in the, <laughs> not, in the, not a lot. He doesn't shy. He doesn't Does he, shy away from from 
his responsibility for the ball, and I appreciate that about him. But at this point, I believe that Zinchenko in a, in a midfield, midfield role position is better than yeah. would be yeah. above Sammy yeah. right Agreed. now in the pecking he, order. Because he's not scared of the ball. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Just, well, we're, talk about like what you bring. Like in, in this morning's Man United game, they brought on Fred for Erickson, and the commentator goes, "Well, that's a slightly more defensive change." Like, yeah, no shit, because Fred gives you slightly nothing. more defensive. Fred gives you nothing. <laughs> yeah. Fred, Fred scored last weekend, by the way. Speaking of that Man United that's game, his only goal. <laughs> but sometimes the sun even shines one. on a dog's ass. Right. Yeah. Even V-A-R. a broke clock is right twice a day, ain't it? VAR can kiss my VAR, ass. VAR, my lord. Hey, it saved us today. Yeah. Saved us today. Can kiss my <laughs> ass. Yeah. Because how that second Rashford goal did not count cost me money, <laughs> yeah, but also enough. some like, bullshit. Why is he getting upset about a Rashford goal? Because, because, because Will I, is, is but, turning but, into Rob Van But not just, I, but I, not I, just I about you, money. I helped you make your yeah, money yeah, back yeah. today. But not just about money. Not Joey just the about, parlay builder just called me. Not just about the money. It's also the fact that it's just inconsistent shit. No, it is. Over yeah. and over again. Because the point that I made on our on our WhatsApp was... Whether his arm was there or not, it would have still been a goal that bounced off. Yeah. Into the goal. It's and, just, but it's also, bad. his arm was literally here. Yeah. It, was he- it wasn't yeah, like all do? the way out yeah. here. And he was within a yard and a half of that keeper who then saved the ball and it deflects up and bang, bang into the net. Like The only way his arm wouldn't have touched the ball is if it... He was being disintegrated yeah. Yeah. at that time. He had no way of moving it. Yeah. It wasn't it's out. Too, too it wasn't. Quickly. It wasn't way far out of his way. Yeah. Right. And they and like God damn man. Well, and it's, uh, to your point, it's just that like you never really know on a given day, depending on who the VAR official is, what you're going to get. Yeah. You know. True. And like then, and even you Facts. watch a, you watch a call and you go like, okay, well this in historically has been called whatever. They go the other way, and it's just like, look, you know, at a certain like. Uh, I've always been a get the call right guy, you know. Yeah, I and mean, Paul Tierney didn't fuck us today. It's a minor miracle. Shocker. Well, he didn't, yeah, yeah, he didn't that's wild to me. He could, but but yeah, Anthony Taylor, if I could, if Anthony I could Taylor tried. That. Anthony yeah, Taylor no fucking tried. Anthony like, Taylor's so fucking. He's so bad. He's the Mike Dean 2.0. He's he so shaved bad. his head and he yeah. said, "I'm yeah. the new Mike Dean." <laughs> I'm going to be the ref show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's so bad. And you you could just tell. I take Clattenburg back over him. I don't know, man. Well, and the funny thing is, like, we've talked about it before, but it's like, you hear, who's the ref today? Oh, God. It's like, well, who's going to make you say, yeah, good? Nobody. Nobody. Because no like, oh, that's the thing. Is Kevin Friend is. isn't that bad. Yeah. Well, the ref. But it's like, it's like fucking Trump Biden. It's like the fucking least of two evils. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Facts. Like, facts. Facts. And it's like, there's just, I don't get it. There's got to be good refs out there. It's I mean, the it's, highest floating turd in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> like, there, I know what you're saying, because be, occasionally they promote someone. Yeah. And I'd well, like they to had think, to have this year because yeah, they had to. We had two. What we need to do is we need to get to the point where we're comfortable with with female referees. Yep. Because we need to promote Shan Massey Ellis to be a she's the best AR that I've ever seen. But I, that's probably her ceiling right now because Facts. she's a woman. Facts. But where are you going, if she, Tom? If she well, were ref, they also there's no people of color. You know, I'm, I'm going to be there in two weeks. Very true. I see oh, people yeah, of South point. Asian descent and and you know African Caribbean. Like, why are there no? Yeah. Black I never really thought about that. You're right. There isn't anything. They need to go to the to the annals of uh, of FIFA history and get my man Hayden Pennyfeather from <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, from FIFA fame. And this like he's a fake referee that was like, made here, up for FIFA. Well, because here's the thing, right? And like what I'm about to say is not a not a diss on the MLS or the US um, system, but well, US Adam's views are not represented the, on the because <laughs> well, the, the US the I'm US, pretty sure I agree with him personally. But the US not the, the US had two officials work the World Cup final. Really? Yeah. Like we had, VAR and, and yeah, and we, uh, assistant AR and the fourth official. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, we had two. I didn't know that. Yeah, we had two. When was the last time England had one of their refs? I mean, work there was one. Who was this year? Um, there was one. Was, there was one um, this it was, year. It was Anthony Taylor. It was Anthony. Taylor. Was, Anthony Taylor. was it? He didn't work the final. No, oh, the, the final. final. Yeah, 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 I'm talking yeah, about yeah. the final. Uh, okay. I'm talking about the final. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and so, like, we need Pierre Luigi Colina back. Although yeah. he's like the head of the FIFA referees, I think Correct. now. Yep. yep. I mean, I couldn't think of a better head. He's the best referee there ever was. But we actually need him still in the game, like refereeing games, yeah. to show people how the fuck it's done. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he can still run. Because he is the best, the half best a- there ever was. And the it just best around today just felt like it was a ref show. No it was one's like, gonna I'm going to make you know that I'm here. Right. You know, right. like and, and you know, inconsistency. The same thing. Like it's foul. It's yellow when one of our guys does it. It's not when one of theirs does it. Yeah, that is like, infuriating. It it I the saw, first one shouldn't have been a yellow. I saw five challenges today that were significantly more dangerous and more contact than the one that Eddie got a red yeah. against yeah, well, Leicester yeah. City. Three years ago, that's the one that Will will never. Yeah, I will yeah. never. Rest right out of hand. They were I, I love it. I will never let go of that. 
That's the one where like he scraped his shorts with his cleats. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, also, uh, the Gabby Martinelli double sequence yellow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's right. right. That is yeah. the thing that's pissed me off more more than that Eddie's red. Has that's that fair. ever been? The what the well, fuck? Yeah, the, had someone the, done it before. The, the, David Lu- the David Luiz red card that he got, that, that phantom and, and, and touch and in the box. Is, they double jeopardy. Really bad. They double jeopardy him yeah. because they gave the PK and then they still gave David Luiz the red. Right. Yeah. When was the last time you saw a double double jeopardy happen? Yeah. Like no what kidding. the fuck? And there's oh, that, no that's accountability. Not, that's not a goalkeeper. Right. If you that's question, if you question right. them, right, right. it's like fucking Pinochet government. But even but even goalkeepers now don't get red cards. Don't get double jeopardy. They get yellows. Yeah. And that's the thing to your point, Tom. Like it's just like baseball where. You know, there, you can just do whatever you want, and then you just disappear at the end of the day. You don't have to answer any questions. You never have to and, like explain and if, yourself. And if you call them out, you get fined. Right, exactly. Yep. Like if you say, "Look, the refs were poor today," and even if you don't say, like, "The refs were fucking pieces of shit cunts today," if you say, "Look, that was a poor job by so and so," fine. Fine. Yeah. And they, they, That's not even vulgar. It's not even lashing out. It's just saying it like you yeah, saw it. There's no fucking accountability whatsoever. Right. They can just make bad calls and then just go home and sleep like a baby yeah. afterwards. I can't remember I mean, there's, there's no televised, accountability. I can't remember if it was a television Unless you bet on games like Clattenburg did or there's whatever. A, there's a thing like 10 years ago. They're trying to ca- crack down on cursing. And the quickest red card in the history of the game was instant because the ref blew the whistle and then... The striker was like, "Fucking hell, that was loud!" The guy's like, "Red card." Yeah, I told you, no cursing. Wow. And we're gonna go. Think about this thing pragmatically here. Nobody wants to come see you blow the whistle. Yeah. The fans pay to see They're these not here players. To see you. Right. And you're constantly yeah. making the game about yourselves. Let's stop. Let's slow the game down. You come over here. Everybody, camera on me. Yeah, Sound yeah. on me. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I got to do this and yeah. get the fucking... Right. Yeah. The more invisible you are as a ref, as long as the game doesn't get out of hand, the more invisible oh, you yeah. are, no, the, yeah. better, well, the look, better you crews, probably perform. My crews I work with all the time. I mean, our crew chief, every pregame meeting we have, he's like, a perfect game is we don't call a foul and yeah. throw a penalty. And obviously we know... With it's football, not especially, that's not going to happen. Yeah. That would be a stat. But, I'd be curious and say, what is the game that had the least amount of fouls but, called ever? Yeah, yeah. but but, Ooh, but yeah. we go into the I, games, I, but we always approach all know. of our games. We always approach all of our games as we definitely don't want to have an impact on the result of this game, right? right? right. And um, I want the game to be decided by the players on the field. Yeah, I wish the yeah, NFL they had make that a, mindset. a fatal mistake, so be it. But. Yeah. We don't want to decide the games. Because some might say that's why yeah, referees like scary are allowed Terry so being much. A yard off the line, and they said Whatever. that he was. Uh, anyway. to, yeah, to, to influence the games. Because and he, point, he pointed at the referee or at the ju- twice. Line judge, check twice, and made sure. Yeah, when that you look, he was good. When you look at history and, and match Infuriated. fixing, yep. the, the, I want to say that officials are probably implicated more often. All of them. Yeah. yeah, more so than the players. Well, that's yeah. the problem. Is that the FA right now? The <laughs> FA, to, <laughs> Tim Donahue. The the FA yeah. right now has nothing for in, in terms of checks and balances with their officials, right? Where like they they don't have a report that gets put out to the to the public right. about you know correct calls and correct calls that there's kind no, of stuff. Yeah, there's no report scrutiny just goes as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, and and so like like look, I as a ref, Tom, as a Tom, ref, can you hear me a napkin? Go on, Will. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no, you're good. Pants. You're good. So as a ref, like, I know, like, wait, you know, <laughs> like, it's tough. Did you right? see a really and, nice and, goal? And Wouldn't be the first time she's had to clean it up for so, me. Oh, my God. So as a ref, it's tough. <laughs> COVID and, <sucks. laughs> and I respect anyone that refs any sport because it's not easy. And the shit you have to go through and the shit you have to deal with, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot of it's work. It's a tough job. And, it, yeah. and it's very hard. It's, it, it's one of the few professions in the world where everyone expects you to be perfect and get better from there. Yeah, but and also you can do a bad job of you can do a bad agreed, job. Agreed, agreed. And but here's the thing, you know, and and this is how I view it for me myself. The only way I ever get better is if I get feedback, right? The only way I get better is if you know schools send in their their game film so I can watch the game, so I can mm. rewatch the plays that happened, right? Like where we can review the process, and part of that review process is also. Letting people see what happened, mm-hmm. right? Letting people know, did you get it right? Did you get it wrong, right? Because right now, all we get is the announcer saying, oh, I don't necessarily agree with that, or I do agree with that. And then it's just like, well, what does the FA think? What does the FA's officials committee think? Yeah, what do other officials watch? Right? Like, uh, can there just be some accountability? Some, some yeah. way of saying, some way of evaluating a referee's performance over the course of a season or multiple seasons yeah, or whatever. Like, the they're teams like the, have like the mafia. saying, hey, you've done <laughs> well or, mate, B, or, or yeah. you haven't done yeah. well enough. 
and we need to make some sort because of change. Because here's the thing. How many yellows now is Sokka on? Four? Yeah, it, we have like four or five players. And how many four. should be called against, against him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And, and so if he gets one more, if he, if he gets one more the game before Man City, yeah. he's out. Yeah. He's out. And like, then, and so, this so, is and, why it's a and fucking now, big deal. And yeah. now it should be yeah. the question of, well, should he go out and try to get one? Yeah. To get it over with. To get it over with. To get it over with. To miss to miss a game that's yes. not as important as that yes. Manchester City game? Well, because, I, somebody was, I, I think it was Orbini was talking about, I guess after 19 games, the five is not an automatic suspension anymore? No, it is. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I had, Oh, wait, wait, wait. After how many games? After 19 games, it no longer means an automatic suspension Oh, no, no, I thought I thought it was... I, I didn't know if it was games or just once you get to that five, there's like a next larger threshold. No, I think <coughs> from what I understand, from whatever tweet I read, is that after 19 games, five no longer means an automatic suspension. Does it? Does it reset? Oh, okay, good. I, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't the reset. Like the threshold hopeful. goes up. Okay. 19 is the halfway point for the. No, I know, I know. Game, so yeah. But does it like it makes, reset? No, it, but doesn't, does it, it reset? doesn't reset. But like whatever the threshold is, is there, it goes up. It okay. Is there punishment okay. if he seeks that crucial strategic foul? Because I, I could swear that there are some leagues where if they know you're doing that. They they double down on their punishment. I mean, how could they possibly? Prove yeah, that? you know how you, you they can't do. Prove it's, a, it's a slippery you slope. You know how they yeah, do. Yeah. It's a slippery slope to try to say, "Oh, you did this on purpose." The, no officials. Because Sergio Ramos, no that's one of the things he's famous for. Really like, but he, fouls, but like he infamously oh, got absolutely. himself sent off. Yeah, and, and like yeah. the quarterfinal in Champions League. Yes, so he can miss the semi but be available for the final. And then they effed up the semi, and yeah, then yep. now look at you. Yeah, uh, I just want to read this. Uh, Owen from the Gooners Pod. Says uh, Fuck on his. Twitter, he says, uh, "Owen, this is, <laughs> funny this is famous." He said, uh, "Dear broadcasting networks, could you please stop using Paul Merson in brackets, Chelsea fan, and Jermaine Pennant in brackets, an irrelevant knob to speak on behalf yeah. of how the fan base feel about a title challenge?" Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, facts. Man, yep. I thought, I thought Paul Merson. Uh, facts yeah. <laughs> with an X because yeah. Paul Merson is pretty biased, in my opinion, towards Arsenal. So I'll have to have a chat with Owen. I didn't. Oh, false. I I disagree. All right, here it is more Bino. It doesn't reset, but 19 league games is when the five yellows no longer means an automatic suspension. Also on the counts in the Premier League for yellow card, uh, cruel cup games are separate. Okay. So I don't know what, the, what, what happens after 19, but it doesn't reset. But All right, like, well, maybe we played have, like, 16. When like do we play City? Uh, the first time we play City, are they February. game 19? It's, it's February. Well, it'll be past that, yeah. Okay, so we're but past I can, game I can see the referees being told by a gambling organization that to assign... Bukayo Saka, a yellow card. card for something. It's to, important to make a to Miss know City. where they are. To make though. a Miss City. Yeah. It's important to know where they are. Because let's say if they're the 19th game, right. then if he gets it in the 18th game, he'll still be unavailable Correct. for the Right, and that's why I was asking. Like, is the City we game the 19th game? We don't play them until like February game? 20th, I want to oh, say. Oh, then we're fine. Then we're fine. Um, the 15th. The 15th? No, no, okay, no. Tottenham's so the 15th. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're fine. Five we're more fine. games, so yeah. it'll be well past that. Yeah, that. Tottenham, but but okay, but Tottenham's within the 19 range. Yeah, so here's and the thing: he's got to get a he needs to get a yellow against United or Everton, so he can miss either Everton or Brentford, yeah. and then we can get on with our lives. Yeah, yeah that, if he's going to do it. Yeah, because uh, because we play because we play Tottenham and Man City back to back. No, 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 Tottenham and then United back United, to back. Tottenham, Tottenham, United. Oh, gotcha, Tottenham okay. United, Everton, Everton Brentford, Brentford and then City. City. Gotcha. So yeah, that's I not mean, an easy run. No, it's not. It's not. And so. He can get it before Tottenham. Toilet bowl. Yeah, he yes. can get it before Tottenham, and then he's out for Tottenham. Which would suck. Like, his well, yellow no, card today oh, was Newcastle. bullshit. Yeah, yeah. His yellow card today was absolute dog well, shit. Well, basically, he, he, he's uh, the only game I would accept him getting a yellow card in the is, is uh, well, is Oxford, of course, because that is inconsequential to this competition. But I would accept him getting a yellow card in the Man United game. To miss Everton or Everton to miss Brentford. I don't even want him to miss Brentford. But I wouldn't no, want him to be better than missing City. I, I would rather miss Everton. Yeah, same. But Brentford, I mean, they've beaten us in the last year. Yeah, well, you know? the, that way, well, at the, the beginning of last year. Yeah, and then we went back there and had a nice kickabout. Yeah, that's true. We 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 did. Also, um, Richard Keys, uh, who is the department chief of the Celebration, Celebration Police. Police. Yes. Uh, he 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 uh, again because of course Gabriel sent, sent that tweet out. Big Gabby yeah. said nice kick about with the boys because obviously yeah. he's been thinking about that shit, right. the especially as the center back that was marking that guy. Well, and who especially said that. especially and then of course after, Richard Keys is like, oh, you got it's too much, too much. Yeah. Well, not only that, Richard Keys suck my dick. Our entire team knew you about that tweet cunt. because of the fact that we learned this through the uh, the show. Arteta literally put that up in front of their faces. Yeah, so, true. As motivation, so. And they went out and, and, and fucking whooped names and took ass. Right. So here's here's an idea for a, <laughs> let's call it a segment as if we have those. Uh, I love segments. Let's let's come up with some New Year's resolutions for the boys. Okay. I feel like Arteta's needs to be 
say guys less than 20 times a team talk. <laughs> or, or learn how to properly say fucking instead of fogging. Well, that's okay. That's, I mean, that's an accent. Go. They'll fucking go. He, he, you gotta have, he, guys, listen, guys, guys, guys. It's like, stop. Guys, guys, guys. 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 No. Just well, I think that's come like on, a guys. To be less thing. upset when he loses a duel. The hard, the hard. <laughs> when I lose a duel, I'm upset. Um, love it, love it. What else? What else? Who 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 needs to have? Uh, I think he needs to pick, like, make a fucking choice on who's going to be starting in the back because. I mean, he has. It's Zinchenko. So it's who's going to be? So is Ben White? Yes, Ben White's the right back. Ben White's the right. Back. I think Ben White's the right back. Zinchenko's left back, and Gabrielle and, and Salah. <laughs> also, I think that uh, William Saliba. Is so good at everything. He needs to specifically train and work on situational awareness when he's running towards yeah. his own goal. Yeah, I can, I can I can tell you something about this for every. You want me to go to every at least every of our preferred well, starting lineup. Specifically 11. about Saliba is if he is running back to his goal. At what point do I make a play on that ball that's coming towards me? And what point do I try to contain it? Yeah, yeah. right. Because I feel like right now he. He tends to always make the wrong decision when, where when he's running backwards. Yeah, if where, it's all in front of him. Yeah, he knows he's fine. What to do. Yeah, he's fine. So I suppose I should have put that in the notes and prepped you guys because no one has anything planned to say for that. So that was nah, a dumb nothing. idea. Oh, well, no, it's good. Bro, it's I listen good. now. I can go through the whole yeah, yeah, squad. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> Ben White. He needs to work on his attacking play just a teeny tiny bit more. Yep. He tries hard, but he needs to work on things like crossing on the run, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, William Saliba, we already went over. Tierney they, needs to just experiment with haircuts. He needs to get a new haircut. Yeah, just, absolutely. Just try. Just try. Let's get, we, we, we've, we have had the all-hair team of the Premier League for several years. There's, I'm sure there's some guys. Which, hold up. And there's some guys around the club like Jack Wilshire that, that have had great hair over the years. Rob Holding. Uh, that thing is that's, like that's not a haircut. That's Bosley. Yeah. I mean, he, yeah. it is it is beyond hair club for men now. Like yeah. he's got like the fullest head of hair you could possibly like. By the way, unrelated to the noise you just heard, I hope Michigan fucking lose. Yeah, that <laughs> clapping was for go the on, beginning on, of the Michigan Texas game. Christian, what, are they called the horny toads? The horny toads. The horny toads. Of course toads. they're not. <laughs> I mean, you know, that would be hilarious. I'm, I'm if sure they were in though. some circles uh, the answer is yes, but that'd be hilarious if they were. So what are they? The, the horn frogs. Horn frogs. Horn frogs. Yeah. Go frogs. I mean, there's it's almost thing, the same thing. There's yeah. a thing they put up on their on their jumbotron, and it's like uh, I forget what it's called. It's like one of the, the like the poison toad or whatever, and it's like just a, it's like a frog, and it's just like changing yeah. all these LSD colors and shit. Shocker. All right, so uh, big Gabby, big Gabby, his New Year's resolution needs to be stop pressing up so high. Yeah, it needs to be to to to. Know exactly when to press. He also sometimes stabs a little too much. Yes, stabs at the ball a little too much. Just work on that as a new year resolution. Uh, Zinchenko, stay healthy. Z yes, stay Zinchenko, stay healthy. Also, uh, the one learn thing, how Zin to defend. Zinchenko trusts himself on the ball a lot, and he generally is good. But he trusts himself on the ball a little too much at times. Yeah, and that's and when that's caught. when he can get in trouble. Yep. So I think he needs to work on that. Uh, Granit Xhaka needs to work on nothing because he's perfect. Let's yeah, go, his, let's move on. He, he, he everybody works on his no. finishing. Like Gr it's crazy how many times he finds himself as the option inside the final third. Who's this? Granit like, Xhaka. Xhaka. So like his finishing, he he's to, been excellent. As he's a also scored. I think he scored the most goals in a. In oh a, sure, in but a he year. could have more. He could I have mean, more. He could have more. Oh sure, there's, but there's but times even strikers do yeah. that. And now I'm not gonna say he's not a good finisher. The way the way Odegaard has played the last three games. Yes, I'm counting the one right before the World Cup break too. He is rapidly catching Xhaka for player of the season for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Odegaard's got seven goals. I think we're going to have three players hit 15 goals. Yeah. 15 nice. league goals this year. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Cause Cause Odegaard's working on what he needs to work on. His absolutely. Goals. Yep. His goal today. That so think, what, what does Martinelli need to work on? Uh, Martinelli needs to just run a little less. He needs to know when to stop chasing <laughs> shit down so, so he can save himself. Well, Honest, was, honestly, body conservation is right, that's what right, I was going to say. What I was going to say. He's like, a, he's like a black Labrador puppy. So like he my, just will run and run and yeah. run. So my exhausted. thing on Martinelli is this, and he tends to keep the ball on his foot one touch too long. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the so, Pepe syndrome. Right. And also the Jack Wilson syndrome. Like, well, that's and he still gets plenty. Like, there's still plenty of times where he does keep it on his foot one touch too long. We'll still get a corner. We'll still I get something sure in the I was sure he was not going to score on that goal, and he should have passed it off to soccer. Oh, yeah. 100%. That was yeah, a yeah. hell of a finish, too. Yeah, yeah it was. Um, but that's, that's what I would say for Martinelli to work on is just recognizing – no, this is my last touch, and I'm going to pass it in else, or yeah. shoot it. What about it Thomas be. Partey, other than the obvious? Thomas Partey is don't 
get on a motorcycle, don't get on an ATV, don't do anything <laughs> reckless. Don't stretch just too wear far. Wear a big yeah. Goodyear blimp. Yeah, exactly. Or just Goodyear, get on, get one of those, like, the, the little, like, the okay, roll around okay. suits, like the big bubble a thing. Bubble boy, on, yeah, on the pitch. Yeah. On the pitch, even though he scored two of them this year, work on that shot with a moving ball from right outside the box. Yeah, because it's there for him every time. Yeah, if he if he were so, I, I'm reminded of another central midfielder who was one of the best England ever had, who scored a lot of goals like that, and that's Paul Scholes. Yeah, if if Thomas Partey could finish like Paul Scholes, he would score 12 goals yeah. a season. So my thing with Partey would be this: when we are in the offensive half, and he overly stabs at a ball he's very good at still winning that ball yes, back yes, case yes. in point His today recovery is however great. however in the defensive half he does that same aggressive step and it's not as effective no and he doesn't win it as much and then we get caught it's not it's not effective because w- and when you're in the offensive half when he does it we're maybe one pass away from correct looking at the whites yep. of the goalkeeper's eyes yeah and and so it's it's more effective in that position yeah. to do it and when you win it you immediately create yeah. a chance. So, so, so in, him in just half, adjusting yeah. the way he challenges a player with possession between offensive and defensive half because he does it. He does it the same in both, and it works really well in the offensive half, but it doesn't work as well in the defensive half. Yeah. Um, let's see. Aaron Ramsdale. Sok- Sokka's needs to be get more clean sheets. Yeah, Ramsdale should be clean sheets. Sure. Sokka's needs to be just one game like that's completely out of hand. Just clock a motherfucker who fouls you for no reason. <laughs> just, just, just have enough. He's not yeah. gonna do it. Yeah, he honestly, won't do it honestly, yeah, he's more, too good of a, a lad. A little, a little bit more grit about your game, so that people maybe people I don't even, think twice. I don't even want grit. I just want him to fouling you. I just want people him to fuck someone up because he's sick of shit. Like yeah. I, 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 you know, he he is like the well, poster it, boy. Same, from, same thing. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is we're this, in violent agreement. Well, more grit is like a, a, to me that's like a play with more grit. I just want so, him to like haul off and clock a motherfucker. So in the what? Face. Mine or <laughs> or like if he gets tackled. Well, say like your your a lot of your laddie guys like Jack Grealish or Jamie Vardy. If somebody knocks them down, they get up and they start shouting him like a yeah. you know like night gloves in a hand. Bag or handbags in nightclub. It, it's just, yeah, letting him know that I'm not going to take this shit. Because I think a lot of people, they kind of take his kindness for weakness. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, we can kick the shit out of him. You know, he's he's a, he's one of those old school Christians that's just going to take it and take it. And, and like, Shaka's going to come over and tell you no, but I want Sokka to do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, so here's my thing on Sokka, and I said this actually before the season started to Joey, and he has been <laughs> doing it more and and has been improving on it. But he still needs to keep doing, you know, getting on that improvement, which is shooting more with your right foot. Yeah. yeah. Be get better with your off foot. With your off foot. Yep. Uh, somebody, I think it might have been, I don't know who it was. Might have been Fredo. Somebody on Twitter that I follow on Twitter was like, "You so, went against the family, Fredo." No, no. Was like basically, I'll, there are so many right footers that are really, really good or at least decent with their left, left foot. Yeah. But but every left footer you see is so overly, extremely yeah. left footed. Right. I'm th- and of course, I'm thinking Anthony from Manchester United or, uh, you know, a player yeah. of that ilk. Um, Podolski. Podolski, yeah. I, I mean, Olivier I mean, Giroud. players that are playing right Olivier now. Olivier Giroud, uh, nah, Jack Wilshire. I wouldn't put, Wilshire I'd put there. Although that goal, you know the goal I'm talking about, he scored that with right foot. But Giroud, I wouldn't put there. He's could score both feet. Wilshire, overly left footed. Meza Ozil, overly left footed. Yeah. Yeah, um, we were guilty of it on our side. Um, but, Pe- Pepe, but but yeah. right but right footers like Martinelli has scored two goals this year with his left foot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Granit Xhaka has scored a goal with his right foot. Yeah. He's one of the exceptions because I've seen him score with his right foot. Yeah. Yeah. Something about left footed players are so dependent on being there. Yeah. TCU, and there's something win this a left footed yeah, when a left footed player passes the ball or strikes the ball, it just looks better than when a right. Well, I, I can't. Like can't left handed swings are yeah. inherently more better. better Ken looking Ken Griffey than right-handed swing, right-handed it just yeah. looks. There's something about it. It just yeah. looks amazing. Like the only the only good looking yeah. right James handed Harden, swing. James Harden's, Harden's basketball, basketball shot. It looks different. It looks yeah. cooler. It looks more. Well, that's because he's also flailing appealing. around to get fouled while he does it. Yeah. No, that's after he releases the ball. It's on his landing that he does that. No, like Albert Pujols has the only good-looking right-handed swing that I've seen in the last like twenty years. I feel like yeah, I feel like like Aaron Judge's swing. They're like they're like stout, compact, ugly. Uh, um. incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Aaron Judge. Every oh, analyst of the Will game. A fucking- every analyst of the game says that his swing is absolute pure. It's effortless. It is literally effortless. It, is, it, do, it doesn't look good. But it doesn't it look, look good. Not, it's not a Ken Griffey Jr. swing. It doesn't bro. look as fluid. Okay, it, it no look. one swing is Ken Griffey's swing. Right. right. No one. And he, is, and he is a left-handed player. But that's what I mean. Like I guess like I, it just it just something about it doesn't. It looks. 
There's, they, I don't yeah. know just what it is. Looks it's just the way we expect to see things. as good as whatever. Every is. analyst that I've ever yeah. heard talk about Aaron Judge's swing would greatly Every disagree Every Joey that you. you know doesn't fucking give a shit. <laughs> Welcome to I the know, Aaron I Judge know. podcast. Albert Pujols podcast. Anyway. I'll never can think we his talk about Gary Sheffield? Amazing. I believe that it gets the results. I believe that it is pure. It just doesn't look, look that as way. as gorgeous. And honestly, who gives a shit? I would rather it be pure instead of looking pure. Well, yeah. But you know what I mean? But, but you are right. Like for this, There's something about left-handers, left-footers in general. I, and I can't and explain it. And maybe it's because there's fewer of them. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's just kind of maybe like it's a different. Rarity. Yeah, maybe it's the rarity. Know. I don't know. Because the funny thing is, like when you're like, if you're like growing up and you have aspirations to be a, a, a sports person, you learn know, to use your left. Learn to be left-footed. Right. Or exactly. Left-handed it's like or if you're right-handed, you're supposed to learn how to use your left. But yeah. I feel like if you're lefty, they say, hey, that no one else Stick is lefty. That. Even, even, that. Exactly. even switch hitters in baseball, they look better when batting from the left-handed side. Because yeah. most so of them are left-handed yeah. and they are adapting yeah. to be right-handed. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, see, I don't know those stats. So there's oh, actually I, 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 I switch it when I was younger, but I'm naturally right-handed. So there was a study made years ago. Years ago. Most left-handed people, and I'm left-handed, are, are ambidextrous. ambidextrous. Or, yeah. And yeah. I do, outside of like... Because the world is made for right-handed right. people, outside and that of, sucks. Outside of writing, throwing, right. swinging, everything else I do with my right hand. Tools, rackets, paddles, like all that kind of stuff, yeah. right-handed. If you if you were a guitar player, your guitars your guitars would cost like 12% huh. more. Yeah, if I play you a guitar like guitar. this. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to play left-handed. Yeah. yeah. But I don't. I don't play like this. Yeah, and I, I think, that, like I think that's, that really is what it is. Like when you're left-handed, you're told you're special, and that's something to just like yeah. that'll get yeah. you through. But if you're right-handed, it's like, hey, if you want to be something, also hey, be Jimmy, left-handed. Jimmy just would buy strat, right-handed strats and turn them upside down and well, string, yeah. them, string them backwards. Yeah, yeah sure. There you go. But I, I, I do think that is part of it. That, that is a big part of it. I really thought about that, but yeah. that's probably true. I think Jimmy right. was also partly convinced that the left-handed ones were not as good. Yeah. Yeah, because they were just they made them as like uh for these people. Right, like this rare breed of whatever. And and then also Jimmy was Jimmy. He could fucking. All right. So yeah, I believe we have two more people to talk about for New Year's resolutions. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Od- 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 Odegaard and Jesus. Oh, I thought we already said Odegaard. Odegaard, Odegaard is, is be greedy and yeah, shoot more. Oh, and he's yeah, more yeah, okay. I, I missed that. Jesus also. I, I is missed look it less sad on the sidelines. <laughs> I know. So I would say, I would say, <laughs> well, he does need J- goals. Jesus, Jesus be should more be clinical. more selfish. Be more clinical. Okay. Be more clinical. That's that's what I would say about Jesus. Just be more clinical. Yeah. Get that goal. Get that I, I would goal. say I would say because he's an incredibly unselfish player. Uh, yeah, 100%. yeah. I, I think at, there are times where he maybe needs to be a teeny bit more selfish. Yeah, and take the shot on for himself. Yep. Like uh, like Martinelli today, I think the whole universe thought he was going to square it to Saka. He's like, no, nope, yeah. I'm scoring this myself. Yeah, I thought he was. Yeah. Saka oh, was absolutely. wide the fuck open. It would have been an easy yeah. goal. Now, I mean, it still ended up being an easy goal. I think maybe know, the keeper thought he was too, which is yeah. maybe what why he, was such a good why, goal. Yeah, why it went yeah. in. Because, yeah. I mean, he hit it almost right at the keeper, but he couldn't save it because yeah. I think, he, like you said, he was half thinking to go to his left. Yeah, because yeah, so. he was expecting uh, what everyone else was. So, what about our bench players? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, Fabio Vieira? No, 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 no. We're not, we're not no, doing that. No, no, Starting no, no, 11. We're already. <laughs> hit the weight room a little bit? Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Uh, Fabio Vieira is have a fucking cheeseburger. You know, yeah. drink some pints. Eat a sandwich, bro. Just, yeah. just get a little bulked up, you know. Eat some bacon. Yes. Because there, there is a fucking player in there. I'm here to yeah, tell there you. Yeah, there is. There is. There he's going to get, get beat to death in this league. Yeah. It's time. All righty then. So, Happy New Year's, dickheads. Happy, I don't have a button for that, uh, but it is, it is Happy New Year's. So we got a quick turnaround. We got Newcastle at home on Tuesday, and then uh, right after that, FA Cup the following Monday. That's away gonna be that's gonna be a Oxford. rubber. That's gonna be a, a tough test. Sheesh. Yeah, but our next show will be Sunday the fifteenth minus this guy because he'll be there. Yeah, he will be in England. So be look in for England me on TV. Uh, uh, we'll we'll look for him. From I'm from going to try to, to take down the uh, the hoardings, whatever I can. I yeah, if, if, if you hear about a, a rowdy American being thrown in the brig at the toilet bowl, yeah. that's going to be our boy Tom. If you're listening, I, from I'm going to try to dismantle this place. Fine, anyway, Tom, until then, I am Ryan here with Tom. See you. And with Tia Will. Yeah, gun is yeah. And with Joey, they were who we thought they were. Fuck, we ran out of music. All right, well, the show's <laughs> over. Uh, Happy 2023. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year, Ryan. Bye bye. No.